Guess what? No score. No school, just got canceled. I know, I heard the phone ring. I heard your phone ring. You heard my phone ringing, so you knew. I got a text message, too. You did? Yeah. Yes! Yes! No school! Snow day! Yay. Now you get to help dad. Okay. Good morning, modern steaders. That snow is coming down pretty good right now. They're calling for one to two inches an hour this morning for a little while, so we could get hit pretty good. As you just heard, Olivia has a snow day, which is awesome, because the project I want to do today is going to be even better now that she can help me. Oh, that's exciting. Uh, I don't think the goats and all the other animals are going to appreciate the snow today, but we'll get our chores done, and then me and Olivia can have some fun. And then we're going to have to clean up the road, too, at some point today. It's going to be a busy, good day. Look at that beautiful snow. You have to do some shoveling. Yeah. What do you think of all this snow, huh? What do you think of all this snow? <laughs> no, you don't care for it? You ready, Willow? Hope that's a baby bump I'm seeing. Come on, Willow. Oh, well, it looks like it's gonna be another dark day in the milking room. So I'll cut the video right here, and we'll come back when we're getting ready to feed the chickens. Coming out. I don't seem too impressed with the snow today. Willow doesn't want to come out this morning. You gonna come out, Willow? She's like, nope, I had enough alfalfa pellets. I'll stay in. Yesterday was a really sad day on the homestead. Today, it's still very sad here. We ended up losing our rooster, Andy. If you guys didn't see that video, I'll put a link to yesterday's video right here. So now we don't have Andy in this flock of chickens anymore. Ah. Andy will be missed for sure. He had a great hairdo and a pretty different personality. We only kept two roosters on the homestead and we just like to keep different ones. We got Moose who thinks he's Hercules, this little tiny guy, but he's got a great personality. Andy, he just had crazy farm hair. He didn't care. He was the boss of his chicks. So it's gonna be sad not having him around. But unfortunately, that's the ups and downs of living on a homestead. You ready to play in the snow? What do you think, huh? Go for it. This way, hey. Slow down. This way. I don't think the ladies will come out today in the snow, so we'll leave that door shut and we'll feed them inside. I'm gonna bring out some more hay for the nesting boxes. Oh, I probably won't be able to get to it today. I'm sure we're gonna be busy cleaning up from all this snow. I did just get a text from Gina. She made it to work safely. She said the roads were a little bad, but she made it. Two eggs so far this morning. I was just looking and I'm surprised they haven't eaten more calcium lately. They must be getting enough of it. 
try to keep an eye on all the animal supplements this time of the year because they're not out on the pasture eating grass and bugs. I see one, two, three and a half limbs with brown leaves on them. I'm gonna say that's from us when I was burning the brush pile that was right behind Pluto. This fall when we were clearing up the lane in this apple orchard over here, I was taking the brush, piling it right there and burning it. And I think I got the flames a little high. So when I was a kid, Growing up, we used to get bread and butter pickles. They weren't like a great brand. They were like, I don't know, whatever brand you could buy at the grocery store, but they were bread and butter pickles. And inside them, they would have pickled cauliflower and like a pearl onion. I remember as kids, we always fought over the pickled cauliflower. One year, when Olivia was a baby, she probably doesn't remember it, we grew cauliflower in our garden. I believe we only got like two heads that were good and we were making pickles, bread and butter pickles. So I pickled the cauliflower and she was like, what are you doing? I'm like, trust me, it's gonna be awesome. It was, and we fought over it all the time and we could never get enough. So, I was at the grocery store the other day and they had cauliflower on sale. I said, you know what we're gonna make? We're gonna make just pickled cauliflower. Bread and butter cauliflower. So, that's fine. So I picked up five heads of cauliflower. I'm gonna say we're gonna make between six and 12 pint jars a quarter. We're gonna cut it in half. And then we're gonna cut it in half again. Just watch your fingers. I don't think this is a good knife to cut it in half. Wanna try this one? Yeah. So let me get this out of your way first. Got some of it, but not all of it. And then you flop, flop it over here. So then, hold on, you wanna cut it down the middle again. Just wanna make sure we get the right. Now, try this knife, and we'll go down, we want to take out the core. Wait, I'm going to put this stuff on first. And you end up with that, and the chickens will love this. Gonna fill the bowl up with cold water. Let them sit oh, half hour to an hour while we get the liquid pot of the recipe made up. 
pickling, we need two quarts of vinegar. What you bring over? Mustard seed, celery seed, and turmeric. Awesome. My guess is the turmeric is for coloring. Snow is coming down good still. I bet the chickens are gonna love this. You guys want some cauliflower stalks? Oh yeah, fresh greens. I'm thinking we're gonna have more than enough pints that we're gonna need to can them. So our, we need this right here. Let's see if I can get it without hurting myself. Get this going. I think we're gonna have enough that we're gonna need to can it. So we'll get this water going. Now I gotta try doing it without making a mess. so good. jars cauliflower first and then we'll go back and put liquid in it. Yeah.
that's up to temp. Set our timer for 10 minutes. getting a good amount of snow and it's still snowing out here we go This snow is pretty heavy and wet today. I'm gonna to say it's the wettest and heaviest of the year.
It is. That's why I didn't plow anymore because it's really deep over here. And I didn't want to get the truck stuck down on the hill. The cherry tree lost some branches. Yeah. You went further. I was going to say, you went further than I thought you would. We got a good amount of snow out here. Not quite burying my boot, but it's pretty deep. Look at all that snow. Well, I guess you don't need any more hay today. Throw it all this way. Look at all that snow. Oh, it's a lot of way to my elbow. Oh my goodness. I had to shovel out the sliding glass door. The snow was <laughs> like this. I've never had the snow that high up against the house. Tonight we're going to be making spaghetti with meat sauce in our Instant Pot. I'm going to be using ground hamburger from farmfoods.com. I want to thank them for sponsoring this part of the video. If you guys want to try out Farm Foods grass-fed beef, there's going to be a link in the description down below. Use the link and promo code LA10 for 10% off your first order. We want to thank everybody who's used the link. It helps support our channel. We need to put our Instant Pot on saute mode. The nice thing about farm foods is all the meat comes from three or four different family owned farms. And on a lot of the labels, it tells you which farm it came from, which is really nice. While I'm browning the meat up, I'm gonna add in a clove of garlic. One teaspoon of Italian seasoning and a teaspoon of onion powder. Once the meat was browned, I shut off the instant pot. Now I got a pound of spaghetti noodles. I'm gonna break them in half. I want to kind of crisscross them in the pan. I don't want them all stuck together. I'm going to pour a jar of spaghetti sauce right on top of everything. And then I need one and a half jarfuls of water. One jar of diced tomatoes. Turn it on. I'm going to cook it for eight minutes.
We're gonna be eating pasta for a month. So what you think of me and Olivia's surprise? Were you surprised? Cauliflower? Yeah. Is it going good? Hope so. Is it fun? Mm-hmm. I just cut up Now is there a vegetable that you pickle that you never thought would be good pickled or not? You know we do regular pickles, we do pickled beets, pickled green beans, which are called dilly beans. We've never made them, but we always like to get at an Amish place, um, pickled mini corns, and then pickled cauliflower. Man, I can't wait to open those jars up. But if you have something fun and interesting that you like to pickle, leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to see what we can do and some different things we can pickle. Sometimes just living on a homestead, I don't even want to say just living on a homestead, just life in general is full of ups and downs. We lost our rooster Andy the other day. There's just always plenty of things that are feels like you're on a roller coaster ride of life sometimes. But just remember, we just always need to remember there's always ups and downs. We never fail until we quit. We just need to pick ourselves back up, brush it off. It was a learning experience. We learned something out of it. That's the way I try to look at everything. So let's just go out, make today a great day. This is the way you're starting your day. If you're going to bed, just fill your head with sweet dreams so tomorrow morning when you wake up, you wake up on the right side of the bed. And we'll see you guys right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.